I got her all the good music there was in the world, yes sir. I bought her a Victor Vic Crowley. Say, Mom and me decided that if we wanted to be right in style, we'd better get one of these here Hail Columbia Happy Land talking machines. Hi everybody. Well, I decided I uh, had a little extra time here and uh, I thought, well, let's uh, post another Music Box Boy video. This is uh, uh, one of the uh, Columbia Model AO phonographs, graphophones from my collection. I featured it, oh gosh, maybe two years ago. I don't know for sure. I can't keep track of my own videos. But uh, I guarantee that you're about to see something that probably all of you have never seen before. This is the Columbia AO in that beautiful hand-carved uh, case that I featured, you know, like I said, a few years ago. And what I don't believe any of you have ever seen is what's sitting next to it. This appears to be another Columbia AO graphophone, doesn't it? I mean, basically, same gorgeous uh, fancy cases. And these were only made for a very short time, these fancy cases. They were just expensive to make and not many were sold. And so I'm going to show you the conventional AO here. Take the lid off here. Even the lids are are nice, you know, aren't they? The, the lids on these AOs are just beautiful. You know, why make a fancy lid, I guess, but they did back in those days. So take the top off the conventional AO. You can see it's it's got the mirror finish nickel plating on the uh, bed plate. We all remember that. Let me just set that lid down. Probably one of the prettiest, in my opinion, uh, crank uh, phonographs that was ever made was the Columbia AO. But, what I don't believe any of you have ever seen, and I could be wrong, I've been wrong lots of times before, this appears to be another Columbia AO from my collection. So let's take the lid off it, and you will see that Surprise, totally different works, but this is the way that I purchased it many years ago, and this is actually a Columbia AZ in gorgeous condition, and it is poised in a Columbia fancy AO cabinet. Now, a couple of things about this. Let me set this down. The lid for the uh, for this one. The Columbia AZ basically had very similar. Uh, you know, it had the same nickel plated bed plate. Very very attractive. Same speed control. Okay, same on-off switch, that's the AO. This is the, uh, the AZ mounted in an AO cabinet. And this is the, uh, the Lyra, and it very short-lived Lyra uh, reproducer for the AZ. Here you can see the floating reproducer here and carriage for the Columbia AO and it had this you know fancy uh, cutting arrangement 
whereas the AZ did, you know, Columbia no longer did the uh, the cutting part of it. Uh, and I'll tell you, one of the th this is a real funky uh, reproducer. Uh, you know, first of all, what are these things for? Do do do. You know, what are they for? They they serve no purpose. You know, they look like you know, almost like finishing nails, but, you know, they, they kind of look like, you know, hair or something on top of the, you know, three sprigs of hair on top of the reproducer. Anyway, what's funky about this, and I'm telling you, when I first got this, I was thrilled to get it in, you know, this AZ in this fancy case. Okay, it's just beautiful to look at. Look at all the nickel plating on it and stuff, you know, it's just wonderful to, to look at. When I went to play it, it was terrible. It was an awful challenge for me to try to get this thing to play right. Because what it has is this, excuse me, one of my lights fell down here. Let me just set it back up here. It's because I stepped on the cord. Anyway, this has a strange you know, you, you like feed the feed the end of the the reproducer that this cross bar right here. It sits in this these jaws, and then you have to when you lean when you push forward, it falls into the jaws, and you know you've got these quirky uh, adjustments here, here and here, and I couldn't get the thing to play. It was either too close to the cylinder. It was too far away, you know, and I finally just, basically, to be honest with you, I gave up on it. I just said, this thing will never play right because I can't, you know, there's so many funky adjustments here, and this thing, you know, sometimes would go too far in and, and so on and so forth. And so I put it on a shelf for years. You know, I just said, okay, it's, it's going to be pretty to look at, but it's not going to be a player because, you know, I can't figure out the uh, the adjustments on the uh, on the reproducer and believe me I'm very very knowledgeable about reproducers and their adjustments you know I've rebuilt hundreds and hundreds of Colombian Edison uh, Victor reproducers but this one I couldn't get it adjusted so it would sit correctly you know because there's so many weird things going on with the with the uh, the carriage or with the the reproducer and the carriage and so forth. Anyway, long story short here. Uh, several days ago, I took it all apart, took all this apart, and I ended up um, adjusting or making a new uh, linkage from the reproducer to the uh, the, the stylus bar or from the, uh, sorry, from the diaphragm to the stylus bar, the factory uh, st uh, stylus bar linkage was too long. And so underneath, what was happening was, let me go around here a little bit. You can see underneath there, maybe you can't, but there's the, uh, what's underneath there, the, the uh, stylus, linkage, stylus bar linkage, was way, way too long. And so, I, after all the fiddling around that I did years ago, all I had to do was um, shorten the stylus bar to diaphragm linkage just a few millimeters. And then it played, and it plays beautifully now. Okay. So anyway, you can see, see, I don't know how I can do this, but you can see somewhere in here it shows AZ. I'm looking through the viewfinder, of course, and I cannot, oh, there it is, AZ, okay? AZ in a lovely AO cabinet, very short-lived carved cabinet falling all over the place here. Anyway, when we come back, I'm going to play for you a cylinder 
on this uh, machine. Okay, so see you in a few. Hi folks. So uh, we're back. You can see that I've mounted um, an original. These are both original um, 10 inch uh, nickel horns. Very rare uh, in their own respect. Uh, this is one on the uh, the AZ in the fancy cabinet, AO cabinet. And this one is the, uh, gotta find my finger here, uh, that's uh, an original 10 inch nickel horn on the the AO. Okay, so what I want to do, I've decided to play not just one cylinder, but I'm gonna I'm gonna play a few for you folks. So get ready. <laughs> Here we go. It's just a few uh, of my favorites uh, from my uh, huge collection of uh, two minute uh, black wax uh, cylinders. Um, so this one is, the first one I'll play for you, is Any Old Place I Can Hang My Head is Home Sweet Home to Me by Will F. Denny. Will Denny is one of my favorites. Um, and in this particular one, uh, the piano accompaniment, uh, which sounds like it's uh, played at uh, a couple of octaves higher, uh, as with a lot of the, uh, the early cylinders uh, with piano accompaniment, the pianos are played at, you know, the higher registers of the uh, piano. So here we go, uh, and it makes it uh, makes for a delightful tinkling sound um, that is uh, wonderful to hear on uh, early uh, cylinders. So here we go, Will Denny with any old place I can hang my head is home sweet home to me on the A Z in the A O cabinet. Okay, so when we come back, I'm going to spin up another one. See you in a few. Okay, this one, folks, is Me and the Minstrel Band. You can see the title right here. Oops. Well, some of it anyway. And this is by Billy Murray. Very, very difficult uh, cylinder to find by him. It's an early, uh, of course, an early black wax uh, two-minute cylinder. Interestingly, Ed Meeker, in the announcement for this cylinder, 
pronounces er, the ban, and it's on the title, it's B A N apostrophe, but uh, Meeker pronounces it as band in the announcement. Interesting. go. Me and the minstrel band, Billy Murray. And I'm going to spin up another one. So see you in a few. Okay, folks, here's the last one that I'm going to play for this particular video. This is uh, You're Always Behind Like an Old Cow's Tail. Um, of course, you can't you can only see a little bit of it, but it's by Bob Roberts. Uh, again, on a, a two-minute black wax cylinder for my collection. It's a coon song. Here we go. Behind these words came. 
to his ear. Look in here, nigga. What y'all doing up in front of that parade, huh? You ain't nothing but old water cans. Lord, the way you was just strutting around while people think that you was a drum major. Get back there in the tail end where you belong. You're always behind that old cow tail. You're no use at all. Like a ship without a sail. When Gable goes his trumpet on the judgment day, you'll be the last to come along and then he'll say, You're always behind that old cow tail.